Think of alcohol. In a low amount, one could say that it, oh, it makes me relax. But in high dose amounts, I end up doing things that I would not otherwise do. So this is an example of hormesis. Can we apply hormesis to this context of public health emergency, particularly among teenagers that are approaching suicide through depression and isolation? This is an actual case study out of our own clinic where we were able to do what I call an immediate neurodegenerative rescue using hormetic therapy, a therapy that practices hormesis. And this young woman recovered very, very quickly from her suicidal ideations and quickly got back on her feet, got back to college and without the use of any pharmaceuticals.